I feel like I'm about to play a game. Oh, something about flying inside something else there. Wow. The Force. They're back! It's calling <laughs> to you. Long live the Force. How big or not of a Star Wars fan are you? Uh, I loved it. I'm not opposed to Star Wars. I'm more a chick flick kind of gal. I'm not the world's biggest Star Wars fan, but I think it's a great series. I really like it. I just like the, the grandeur of it. At the time, they were so exciting. You know, they were so exciting. And then, of course, now you look at them and you go, oh, they're kind of rinky. So then how do you feel about the fact there's going to be a new movie with some of the same cast? Oh, oh, this is great. They're all a little older. It shows they've survived. I love that they did that, that they honor the old folks but yet move forward. And did you see any of the original movies in the movie theater? Yes, the first one. Yes, of course. Absolutely, I saw them all. It was all the rage. What is it about Star Wars do you think that resonates with so many people no matter what age or gender they are? I think it's always the good, the bad, the evil. A step out of reality. Fun. Action. Everybody wants to get out there and duke them in space. I enjoy the, the, the humor. I mean, the, it was funny. You got Yoda, you got all these different uh, things in Star Wars that are just totally different. So also in the late 90s and at the turn of the 21st century, three more Star Wars movies came out. They were the prequels, the origin story. Did you see any of those? No. I get them all confused because they all seem sort of the same movie to me. I'm sorry. Well, a lot of people felt that they ruined Star Wars in a lot of ways because they didn't like how they came out. But here we are and it's still coming back. They're trying again, but this time, with the old cast and continuing the story forward. Do you think it's a good idea to continue the franchise when people were upset about it at one point? Yeah, I hate, frankly, I hate to see it end. Depending on how they can uh, do damage control and work around uh, things that might not be in the best interest of the show or losing somebody to a death or something, yeah, I think it's great. Hollywood always knows where the bottom line is, and that's what makes dollars and they always go with the tried and true. Do you think this movie has a chance to be just as good as the original Star Wars? It's toss-up. It's, it's like sequels to anything. I think it'll be a big draw because of Harrison Ford. It's gonna be right up there. It's gonna bring back old thoughts and memories of the past and bring some new stuff to light and uh, definitely be there for doing what it's supposed to do entertaining. So the movie does star Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, and Carrie Fisher from the original movie. We have a picture to show you side by side of them in 1977 and them today. Harrison Ford, what a guy. Isn't it great they're all still alive? No surprises at all. They all look like that's who they were. Oh my goodness, so you got the princess there too. Oh, Mark is looking good. Like that beard. What kinds of thoughts did that give you realizing it's been 40 years since Star Wars began? Wow, time goes on and the one good thing about it is I'm still ticking and I keep, I plan on ticking for another 40 years. That's kind of frightening that 40 years can feel like 40 weeks. I would think that's as, as exciting as I got to see Elvis in person before he passed. You look at the 70s, you go, oh, it looks so tacky. But if you look at the 50s, you go, well, gee, that, the 70s looks pretty good compared to that. And I go, well, what's going to happen in 2050? Are people going to look back at 2015 and go, Oh, Jesus, that tacky looking. I go, mm hmm, that's probably exactly what will be happening.